Each of us is presented with a path, and only one lifetime to get through it. One day, somebody tells you that you're walking a very thin line. In one moment of madness, there's the genius. Unlimited, immeasurable, unstoppable genius. And that is exactly what I'm counting on. Joe! Joe! I was a stranger. An outsider. My medical charts alone were enough to make pediatricians consider holistic medicine. Who's supposed to be the actor here? Did I wrong you in another life somewhere that you constantly find pleasure in driving my blood pressure to maximum overdrive? Temper tantrums? Throw a hump on my back and I'll be Quasimodo for you. The disrespect? You make the Grinch look like Snow White before, during, and after death. Not showing up to rehearsals on time? I got stuck on the subway. You live five blocks from the theater. This was last night on the way home. Joe, these are professionals, the same as you. I'm in charge. How does that sound to you? Like Bastille Day. No, I worked hard to get you this. I guess you'll be in trouble with leaving your crap on the stage. I am beginning to run out of excuses, and you have better believe that they don't need a name that badly that they won't think twice about replacing you. I want you to do something for me. Dr. R. L. Stevenson, General Psychiatric Practice, you're sending me off to a shrink? All right, for hypothetical reasons, let's just say maybe I decide to start talking. Where am I supposed to start? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Will you sit down and behave, Mr. Tucci? For one day, the money I would have paid to have been somebody else. You don't have to be your own worst enemy. My classmates had a pretty frightening rip on degrading psychology. Come on, what do you people want from me? Money? Look at me, I got pocket lint. He's hit me first. He's been doing this to me all year. Uh, but I saw you hit him. Still convinced the whole world is against you. Always talked about me like I wasn't here to hear what you were saying about me. You ever notice so many moments we have in life that are just so... Wait a second, that wasn't meant to be a come on. Then why did you do it? Be my friend, Joe. You don't have the slightest idea what you're asking for, do you? You know, when the time comes, and you're too stupid to ask me for help in the first place, that's when I'll be there. Be gambling again. You're out of your friggin' mind, no. You lost $700 on the poker table and you were still convinced you could win it all back by writing a sitcom pilot. As long as I have known him, I have never seen him like this. How many times have you heard him carry on entire conversations with himself? Just as soon guess he was rehearsing. I listened to him for over an hour, Peg. He wasn't rehearsing. You have to finish this show. Is there something special I need to do to keep you in character for the remainder of the production? And which character would that be at this point? You were sent to me because you continuously choose anger over rational thought. Whatever this slump is, I have gotten over it before. I will get myself through it again. Joe, none of this is like you. There is no real me! Don't you get it? This is it! You're looking at it! Sue me, because somewhere along the line you decided that I was not good enough! Ah! Diagnosis of level two bipolar disorder? Come on, contrary to your opinion, I can take care of myself. You may have successfully sidestepped your way to this point, but you are dangerously underestimating the power of a considerable problem with unrelenting consequences. You need help! Don't sit there and say that this is not me when you and I both know that that does not exist. I can't live like this anymore. I think the world's trying to tell me they've had enough of Joey Tucci. Hey, hey, I believe in you. Always I do. I love you.